Never mind, I'll take that. All right. Ward, does this fellow seem to have any fear of the chair? Not at all. Totally unconcerned. Say, Ward, Doesn't seem to care a part. That airplane's around again. Flying lower than usual today. He's directly overhead. Did anyone get the number? There's no number on it. No number? No. That's rather Say, odd. That, that might make a good story. Oh, I don't believe so. It says someone cruising around here. Well, Sam Crandall, he'll make a story out of it. Hello? Warden's office? You say everything's in readiness for the execution? Thank you. Chief Murphy speaking. The Phantom is supposed to be somewhere here in the city. He is a most desperate criminal, a killer, a human tiger. Take no chances and shoot to kill. Yes, Mike. That's fine. All right, then shoot it through, just as way we had it lined up. Yeah. All right. Hurry it up. Hello, Mr. Crandall. Well, Winters, what can I do for the law? Well, I want to see Miss Hampton. Why? A report has reached headquarters that the Phantom is out to get her father, the DA. Hampton had nothing to do with sending him up. I know. We've been tipped off. He feels our district attorney's office responsible for his conviction. Oh, I see. Well, she's out right now covering a society wedding, but she'll be back in a few minutes. Sit down. Make yourself at home. Thanks. I guess you know me. I'm Pat Collins from headquarters. Oh, well, how are you, Sergeant? Well, what can I do for you? The chief has detailed me to act as your bodyguard until I can capture the Phantom. I guess you know he's made threats against your life. Well, that may explain this. Well, that makes it a whole lot easier for me. Providing you're willing to meet him. Why not? If I can count on you for a little cooperation. Ah, don't you worry, Mr. Hampton. Just leave that guy to me. The court will now come to order. I expect you at 11 o'clock. You better make a 10. I want to be sure you won't get away. Chief's orders, Miss Hampton. He must accompany you everywhere. All right. But I think it's silly. Imagine your society reporter being guarded by a handsome officer everywhere she goes. It's more, Winter. You better get out your soup and fish because Miss Hampton's covering the embassy ball tonight. 
Well, I hardly think it'll be necessary for me to attend. However, I'll be there. Yes? Are you sure? We'll get her right up to my office, then. We'll lay this whole thing out. All right. What? Sure I do. I mean, I'm not quite so sure about that. Well, of course I do, silly. I was only fooling. Pardon me. I'm very sorry, but if you don't mind, this is my private line. I'd like to keep it open. Yes, come up right away. Are you in love with this fellow, Ruth? Why do you ask? Why do I ask? Surely, Ruth, you have some idea how I feel toward you. Don't you know I love you, Ruth? Wait, Sam. I didn't realize that. I told you I let your father in on the secret? Uh, no, not yet. We were waiting for Dick to make good before I told him about it. Why? Well, you see, this is Dick's first job. And it isn't very much of a position. Well, we were rather waiting on you. So, if I give Dick the job, why, you and he will be married. All right, Ruth, please get busy on that society waiting right up right away. I'll see what can be done for Dick. Oh, thank you, Sam. It's all right. How long have you had that butler? Well, only a short time, but he came very highly recommended. Hey, you! your name? James. James. Come clean, what's your real name? Where did you work last? You get in your room and stay there. I'll see you later. That guy ain't no regular butler. He's lying to me, but don't you worry while I'm around. Thanks. Have you inspected the upper part of the house? Why, I was just going to do that. Now, you keep cool, and remember, I'll be right upstairs.
What in the world are you doing? Thought it was what? The Phantom, sir. I heard as Holly's coming here tonight, sir. Now run upstairs and lock yourself in Miss Ruth's room and be calm. Don't be silly. It's only Collins, the detective. Now go on up to your room. It's impossible for him to approach the house without being caught. Now you just trot on in there and make yourself comfortable. I'll stand by the hall door. Expecting someone, Mr. Hampton? Sit down, Mr. Hampton. I want to have a little talk with you. Don't get excited, Mr. Hampton. That gun's not loaded. I have a little proposition I want to offer you.
Yo, excuse me a minute. Oh, thank you, Mr. Winters. Well, the pleasure has been mine, Miss Hampton. And I suppose you'll be here to guard me on the way to the office in the morning. Yes, indeed I will. What time would you care to leave? Oh, I suppose about nine o'clock. Well, I'll be here with pleasure. I wouldn't push so hard on that, Mr. Hampton. It's been disconnected. Wait a minute. What's your name? Shorty. You're the chauffeur, huh? Yeah. And I know a flat tire when I see one. Hey, you trying to kid me? Oh, no. I have a good deal on my mind tonight. Oh, no. I'm serious. I'll see you at breakfast. All right. But remember, don't stay up too late. You know this is way past your bedtime. In the world is the matter with you? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, dear. You're always afraid of something. Haven't I told you there's nothing to be frightened of in our own home? But I don't like this place. I wish we were back in our dear old home. Oh, Lucy, don't be absurd. Well, Mr. Hampton, let's get down to business. Well, you want to see the Phantom in jail, and I, I want to...
Dear, tell me what happened. Oh, terrible. Oh, Daddy, I heard Lucy fall. Then the door opened, and this terrible thing crept out. What terrible thing? What? Oh. oh. Hello, Sam. What? Honey, close that door, will you please? You do it. Oh no. You're stronger than I am. I, I, I can't move. You close. Are you quite sure you didn't see his face? Oh, no. I didn't see his face. All I saw were these terrible fingers, those claws clutching at my throat as if he was going to strangle me. I know, but you always make me do all the work. Oh! oh. It looks like you've got your fan. Oh, nonsense. How did this happen? Well, you see, sir, I had an occasion to go in there, and before I could resist, I was seized, bound, and gagged. Are you telling the truth? Oh, why, of course, sir. I wouldn't be so sure of that. I've known men to tie themselves, sir. Why, don't be silly. No man can tie knots on his own wrist like that. Go to your room, James. I'll see you presently. Oh, Daddy, if you don't mind, I think I'll go to bed. Yes, of course, dear. You'll run right along. Good night. Good night. Good night, Ruth. Oh, good night, Sam. Anton, I wouldn't be so sure of this man's innocence. His face is very familiar to me. It couldn't have been a ghost you saw, Hampton. Either that or people walk in and out through the walls of my house. Well, that's pretty hard to believe. Yes. Don't cry, honey. Well, I want to cry. I wish, I wish I'd never come here into this spooky old place. I'd be afraid. Ain't I here? Mrs. Ace, when we're married, I'm not going to live in this awful place. Don't be absurd. I tell you, he was here. He was... Put up your hand! They got him, 
Hey, boys, so you're the Phantom. So it would have to be you. Say, what's the matter with you birds, huh? Well, what are you waiting for? Put the cuffs on him. Just a minute. There's been a mistake here, Mr. Hampton. What do you mean, mistake? Why, this man is Dick Mallory, one of my reporters. A reporter? Then what do you mean coming into my house like this? Well, my chief will have to explain that to you, Mr. Hampton. I'm here to locate the Phantom. Hey, Collins. Come on, I'll show you how that bird got out of here, through the secret stairway. Well, Mr. Hampton, I suppose you'd like to know what this is all about. I certainly would. I'm very glad to explain it to you. Thanks. Sit down. Careful now, man. I think I know where he is. You do? Do you know a doctor by the name of Walden? Walden? Dr. Walden. The only Dr. Walden I know is that old quack that has a sanitarium out on Country Drive. I'll bet that's the place. Why do you say that? Well, when the Phantom was in my room, he kept muttering something about what a wonderful subject I'd make for uh, Dr. Walden's experiment. Experiments? I think I'll go out there and let him experiment on me. Well, I'm going with you. All right, we'll sneak out of here and take your car. What kind of a place does Dr. Weldon have? It was used as a private insane asylum until the doctor disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. Don't you remember that they found the body of a murdered girl in his yard? Oh, is that the place? Well, even that doesn't explain why this man should break into my house in this manner. Well, you see, he had rather a personal reason for wanting to scoop this story. A personal reason? Yes. Well, he's been secretly engaged to your daughter. Engaged to Ruth? Yes. The fact of the matter is, I rather unwittingly aided their romance. Why should you do that? Because I wanted to see Ruth happy. Even though I'd hope someday to be able to make her my wife. Sam, that wouldn't have hurt my feelings a bit. Dick, are you sure this is the right place? Ah. Oh! What's the matter? Wait, something touched me. What are you doing here? Just hiding. Why, Lucy, what are you hiding from? The phantom? 
Yeah, we got scared in the house, got in here to hide. Before we could get out, why you run away with us? Well, do you know where you're going now? No. Oh. Just where we hope to find the family. Oh. Hey, gate man, open up that gate. Dr. Waller and expects us. Hurry up. excuse will we give for being here this hour of the night? I'll tell you. You pretend to faint, and I'll carry you in. That'll give us a reason for calling on the doctor. All right. Catch me. Hey, Shorty. You and Lucy go to open the door. And remember, Miss Hampton's unconscious. All right. Shorty, take a look around here and see if you can't find somebody. Huh? Go on upstairs and see if you can't find somebody. There must be somebody around here. Hurry up. You're going with me. Oh, no, not, not me. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, Shorty. Oh, come on. You, you don't need to be afraid of me. seem to be anybody around here. There surely must be somebody in the place. Well, I suppose she wants to see Dr. Baldwin. Oh, yes. Uh, could I see him right away? Yeah, sure. Just a minute. Come right in here. I know, but how about... Oh, she's all right. She'll be all right. Come on. It's right in here. Come on. I think the doctor will see you all right. A 
have to manage. You know what kind of a place you in here? No. Then, this here is a crazy house. Crazy house? Yes, sure. That's why he told some boy hand up with your wife, we go back with the van here. What'd you say his last name was? Hey, you see, you don't understand. That's 7,777 seasick men here. And they're all crazy but me. Oh. Well, what are you doing here? Well, that's your shit. You see? Dr. Eldon here. He knows that I've got plenty of money. And what he's trying to do now is to get my money. You know my son. He is the governor of this here state. Oh, you don't say so. Yeah, sure. If you go see my son, and you tell him that I'm in here, and he come and get me out, I will give you one hundred thousand dollars. Well, boy, I'll sure do that. The minute I get out of here, I'll telephone him. That would be fine. Hey, what'd you do that for? That's used to demand so you shouldn't forget. I forget. Come in here, Dr. Velvet is here now. Come here, Dr. Velvet is here. Yeah, this is Dr. Belden. Oh, pardon. I was deeply engrossed in this treatise on the transplanting of the human brain. An operation that hasn't as yet been attempted, but I shall do it. I shall be the first. Let me explain it to you. See, by making an opening here, and one here, then transplanting the cell from this side of the brain to this, we are able to change the entire disposition of the patient. Well, that's all very well, Doctor, but I have urgent need for your services. Well, my dear boy, what's the matter? Well, you see, we were eloping, and my bride-to-be has been overcome by excitement. She's unconscious. <laughs> oh, that's that, my boy. Hey, you mustn't worry. Young brides are always nervous. But uh, where is the young lady? Oh, you should come out here, Doctor. Just come out here. <laughs> Who brings it up there? This is the charming little bride, I presume. 
No, that's not her. What'd you do with her? What, what do you mean? Well, that's not Ruth. Where is she? Hey, boy, I don't hey, understand. Hey, listen here. Listen, if I don't find her, I'll tear this place down and you with it, understand? But, my boy, how could I know anything of your sweetheart? I'll find her anyway. Hey, Ruth! 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 Oscar, can't you see the young lady has faded? Bring her a glass of water. Yes, sir, Dr. Dunn. Let me get a glass of water. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've got to hold it off, sir. my book. <laughs> you remember this patient, Alphonse? Uh, oui, monsieur, doctor. A wonderful operation. Oui. Too bad it turned out as it did. Mm -hmm. Does Monsieur Doctor intend the same operation on Mademoiselle? Yes, I think I will. Though oh, my nerves are rather unsteady. I haven't practiced for several months. Oh, monsieur, doctor. Alphonse, oui. the book. Yes. Oh, Ruth!
say that. Uh, you dropped something. I, I want. I, Naughty, naughty. Don't you know the doctor did not you out here a cold night like this? There ought to be a spring or something around here that releases it. Oh. What's the matter? The phantom went through there. Went through where? Through there. It's a secret door. A secret? Let's phone the police. Come on. Hurry up. Collins and his men are there. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, hello. Albany, 9807. Yes. Well, there's no use in my waiting any longer, Hanson. He's not going to show tonight. No, well, I guess you're right, Sam. Hello? Hello. Hello, Mr. Hampton. This is Lucy. What's that? Where are you? We're in Dr. Walden's sanitarium. In Dr. Walden's sanitarium. On the country club, on the country road. Yes. Oh, and, and Mr. Hampton, we got the phantom here. You see, they've got the phantom. What's that? What's that? They got the phantom. They got... They've got the phantom in Walden sanitarium. Do you know where that is? Oh, sure, sure. You stay right where you are. I'll be out there at once with the officers. Now, wait a minute. That may be just another gag. You stay here, and I'll leave a couple of men to guard you. Now, don't worry. I'll take care of that. Hey, boys! Come here! Hey, to stop it. Come on with me. Come on, fellas. The car's out here on the drive. Be right with you, fellas. I've got a hunch there's no stall in this, Hampton. Well, I'd like to go with you, but I don't want to leave Ruth alone in the house. So phone me the moment you get there, will you? All right. Suppose you want to get in there? Yes, can you open it? Yeah, sure. Well, hurry up, open it. You see this, Evan? Yes. That is the one. Well, which one is the one? You, you see this, Evan? Yes, yes. That ain't the one either. Oh, come on, Sam, be a good fella. Open it up for me, will you? Well, you ain't been such a bad fella, I guess, so. You know, that reminds me of a very, very funny little story. Oh, come on, Slim. Have a heart. Did you ever hear the story of the Yak and Yield? Yes, yes, I've heard it, but you can tell it to me tonight. Come on, open that up, will you? I'm in a hurry. Where you are. Well, I guess that's all right. Uh, you shouldn't be in such a big hurry. Well, I am. Hurry up, will you? Well, you see that hair? Yes. Well, if you turn it like that, you see, and and pull, and it won't open. Oh, but if you push it, 
Say like that? Yes. And then, Pearl, say that if you do. Boys, let's see what's up here. Put the irons on him, boys. Oh, where's my shorty? 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 Here, here, where are you going? Oh, you let me go. My shorty's up there. You all right, honey? Oh, Dick. Yes, I'm all right. He's all right. He's harmless. Ought to make the headlines for this, eh? Trantle? Why? Ain't I got the fan? Tough luck, Collins. Our supposed doctor. It's the phantom. You got to prove that to me. That is very easily done, gentlemen. That is the phantom. Well, looks like we're gonna get the story after all, doesn't it? Let's telephone it in. All right. Maine, four thousand. Just a minute, Drew. Please. Hello, give me Mike. Mike Crandall speaking. Break that phantom story just as I had it laid out. Credit Dick Mallory. Certainly make it an extra. All right, step on it. Well, I guess that gets you your raise, Dick. 
From now on, you'll be our star reporter. Thanks, boss. And I wonder if it'd be asking too much if I got a couple of weeks vacation with it. Don't you like to work? Oh, sure, but, well, you see, we got a little matrimonial business we got to look after. Is that what you want, Ruth? Really? Yes, Sam. What? God bless you. Thank you. You little fellas ever hear that story about yakking you? 